welcome back yes you are back with your boy scars yes and we're in the ultra league right now faced up with a talent flame we have chris Elliott on the lead and we're building up right now yeah okay and we're just playing this one out they probably will go for the back-to-back -back flame charge and we're just going to be chipping them away as that goes along and play this one out we go straight for the brave bird okay they're dipping right no not yet they're still building out we get to another move i'm not sure what their intentions are here they're gonna have to shield this they do now they dip okay strange get to a blast. Okay, so also do super effective also to the Mandibuzz. So they've got double flyer it seems. I wonder what their third Pokemon is also. Okay, this should take us out. Oh, it's an aerial ice. Okay, so that will not take us out. What are they going to do? Try farm us down. Can we get to a move? They go for another move. Okay fine by us because there'll be energy dry when we come in and who are we going to go for we're coming in with Talonflame okay. still building up right now still building up okay we go for the Dark Pulse it does a little bit we're still building up now we go for the flame charge. Let's ramp up our energy. Let's see what they want to do. They don't show. Dear, there was no need for them to. We can go for another one, but we got energy greedy, so they get to move. But it's not going to be threatening. We still don't need to show. We'll take that one and continue building up. Can we farm this down here? We can. There it goes. What are they coming in with? We're going to have to throw them in very quickly. Okay, they come back in with their talent flame. Do they think this is a brave bird? Let's see. They did, then we get their last shield. And we swapped in time. Very good. Whatever this is won't be threatening. A brave bird won't take us out either. We no shield it, and that was a great call. Managing both shields very well. Both shields and they are unshielded. We can build straight up. We can build straight up for that blizzard. Or we can go for back to back weather balls. We knew they were going straight foul play. Some great calls in this matchup so far. In comes the blizzard. Does some decent damage. We can build up some weather balls now. Yeah. We're looking very good here. Very good. Okay, just some chip. So it looks like we're gonna let them throw here and then we should swap. Let's see how we play it. They go for the power up punch. Okay, so we can swap now. And go straight for that move. Yummy. Flame charge straight and that will take out the scarf. Okay, and they throw their move here, which is interesting. Maybe they thought we still had energy. They did not need to throw. They could have just farmed us down and then threatened our polytoad, but it looks like it's going to be a real GG now because they're not going to get to another move. So, that is looking like a GG. We'll take that. Nice one. Hmm. They misplayed a couple of times there. They could have took the W, but some misplays in there from them. So we'll move swiftly into the next one. Okay, so they have Body Toad on the lead. This is a very good matchup for us. I doubt they'll stick around. Because the grass not will be 
threaten into that body so they go straight for a move so quick so it can only be a weather ball so we obviously need to shoot that we wouldn't shoot anything that comes from polytoid anyway blizzard um earthquake we wouldn't shoot that anyway not on the crossover too thank you for that they swap out into their crossover so we swap out into our talent flame hoping that they're not running future site and they are not so this is a good matchup for us we're looking good okay Ramping up the energy now with that flame charge. Reduce that energy up, start doing some more damage. You know that vibes. They get to move now. Is it another moon blast? Yep, so they're not running future sight. Confirmed. Okay, so we're still ramping up that energy. Ramping it up. Imagine if there was a for a future site now. <laughs> no, but they swap out instead of we can brave bird now. And grab a shield, most likely. I don't think they'll they'll let this go. Oof, one shot. Oh my god, did they think we were gonna keep flame charging or did they think they caught? Wow. Wow. Oh goodness. After ramping up our energy so much and going for the break, but they felt like they could nay shield. Not a good decision. Not a good decision on their part. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to farm down this for so we might have to throw it. Or oh, we were going to, but they decided to top left. They knew where that game was going. So GG. And we'll move swiftly into the next one. Because you know the vibes. Okay. Giratina on their lead now. Let's see how this one goes, eh? Okay. So they get to their first charge move. Is it Shadow Sync? No, it's ancient power. Okay. Okay, interesting. So they got shadow claw. Or should I sorry say should I say dragon claw and um ancient power? Maybe ancient power for the flyers. Well unfortunately that's not gonna be good for them face up against Cresselia with that moveset. So they decide to run into Charizard and then we switch into our polito. We have the weather ball straight away. This will do nearly half the health. Mm, yep, oh, more than that. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okay. And they're probably gonna have Blast Burn here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna shield this one up and stack up some more energy. And that's exactly what we do. Hold the Blast Burn correctly, of course it would be. And now they've got another attack and it's not gonna be another Blast Burn. That was a bit too quick. So it'll probably be a Dragon Claw. And it is. <laughs> so we stack up some more energy and then throw. So we'll have some nice energy for the next Pokemon that wants to come in. Okay. Takes down the Charizard. And now we're gonna go for that Blizzard which will get the last shield or do a lot of damage to that Giratina. And it lands very well. They didn't keep track of our energy. They didn't know we were a blizzard. And look at that. We're in the driver's seat comfortably. They go for a dragon claw, yep. So, here's dragon claw, ancient power. Okay, so then we just throw a weather ball just, just to chip it as much as we can on it right now. And they showed the weather ball. Uh, it's looking like a real GG, but We'll play it out and see how things go. Dragon Claw. And now we're coming for Chris and they run instantly. Instantly. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh god, okay. Into Reggie Rock, okay. 
Chris Elliott's not really threatened by anything coming from the Reggie Rock. We can tank it, can't we? Stone Edge. Tickles. So we're just going to chip it down as much as we can for now. Okay, ooh, let us some nice damage. Okay, can we get to another one before they get to a move? Oof, we just got there as well. What's our plan? Are we looking to shield this? Oh no. No, we decided to let it go. We need to save that shield for Talonflame. So now Talonflame comes. Oof. Okay, we have to shield this Stone Edge. It would do so much damage. It would probably one shot or near one shot. Right, we're farming it. All this switched out. Okay, we're at two now, so this is GG already. You can already see where that one's going. First flame charge would take out the Reggie Rock. Second one would take out the Giratina. Oh, they swapped. Okay. Well, that one lands on the Giratina, and this one will land on the Reggie Rock. Either way they want it, fine by me. <laughs> so yeah, that's a GG. Yeah. You know the vibes. So we're gonna move swiftly into the next one. Okay. Who are we gonna be matched up with this time? Lapras, oh, another good lead though. So they're most likely gonna have to get out of there. So let's see what their plan is. We're farming up, we're farming up. They throw the move very quick, so we already know that's a surf. So are they throwing that and then dipping out of there? Or are they hanging around? They're still hanging around. There they go. We didn't throw our move because we know they were gonna come. Out, so we just waited for them and then we switch into Talon Flame. Really, I should have swapped into Politoed, but once I see the metal at the top right, <laughs> I always switch straight into a fire type. But then I remember you can get male metal. I normally think it would be something like a ready steel. But um in the two shields Talon Flame can can put in some work against the Mel Metal, so not too bad, but we'd have to double shield us to anything. So yeah, we, we have no shields at the moment. We get to a flame charge, they're most likely gonna shield this one. They do. Just gonna chip it down some more before we go down, yeah. Now they're at our rock slide, so this will take us out. Down goes our tunnel thing and now we're coming with our positive, which we should have done at first, but that's fine. And we let off the weather ball straight away as we're not trying to let the nail metal get any chip on us. Okay. And here comes the Rapus. Okay, what are they going for? Straight for surf? Or did they build up a lot more? It's a nice beam, so that's not going to do anything at all. I'm not threatening Polytoad. Oh, we swapped to snipe them with the grass knot, but they swapped really quick too. It's likely knew our intention, but this is also fine. This is also very fine. So we get to the moon burst. It's going to take them a long time to get to the charge move, so... This is pretty fine, bro, so we'll just ramp up some energy. And can we get to another move before they get to either an ancient power or... Ooh, okay, so they're either here at an ancient power or a flamethrower, maybe. Yeah, it's an ancient power that tickles, and now we can get off the next move. And I wonder if we can get to a grass knot on the Lapras. Can we? Can we? That would be nice. Oh, we do. Oh my god, the Lapras is going to feel this. It's a Shadow Lapras. Oof, that's nice. Now we can swap out. 
and just chip it down with weather balls. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we went for the blizzard instead. Okay. Fair play. It's not going to do too much to the Lapras. But yeah, we'll just get to another weather ball. The Lapras is not going to take that, and I'll put it so it does for sure. We we'll get to another weather ball. The next weather ball should take out the Lapras. And that will be a real GG, man. You know the vibes. Come on. Looking real good, man. Best body shadow necklace looks good, man. But unfortunately, you ran into Cresselia. So, you know the vibes. So, we're going to move swiftly into the next one. Oh, yeah? So, who do you got on the lead now? It's a Venus. Okay. Let's go. Oh, they swap straight out. And we don't need to swap. We can chill here. We can throw a grass knot and then maybe swap into body two. But nah, they most likely have Mega Horn, which will trouble Poly a bit. And will trouble Cresselli a bit. And um, I don't think Talon Fame will appreciate the Hydro Cannon it will have. So we're going to Poly Toad. He can handle it most likely a bit better. Oh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, now we're at Blizzard. I wonder if they decide to shield this. Let's see. Oh, they didn't. Okay. And it doesn't do too much to them anyway, so it wasn't really threatening anyway. Okay. What is this? We most likely will go down here. Yeah, we do. Okay. Now we come back with Cress. Okay. And I think we felt like they had a mega horn here. And I think it's only gonna be a hydro cannon, so I don't think we needed to shield, but we do. But that's okay. We can farm up a little bit more and then they decide to swap out. So we swap out. And this is looking good. Talon Flame versus Venusaur. It could be a sludge. So we decide to shield. And it is a sludge. So a good shield there. You know, we can just farm up a bit more through the flame charge. Ramp up the energy. Yeah. Takes out the Venusaur. Back comes the Samurai. Can we get to a move before they do? Yes, we can. See you later, Samurai. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they have their last shield. So they yeah, they'll get to a move here, but Cresselia will come and tidy things up. So you can already see where things are going. Oh, and then he sucks straight out. Okay, fair enough, but we're stacked with energy. And they have no shields now. So we land the first one. Moon blasting. Another moon blast incoming. And we're still comfortably in the driver's seat now. I mean, are they gonna even, even get to one charge move? No, they don't. This grass not will be enough to take it out. And somehow I reckon his energy dry. We should be able to just farm it down. Yep. And that's the last one, which was a GG. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming by once again. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.